Hey guys, um, I hope everyone's okay. I just wanted to share something with you. Um, first of all, sorry if I haven't been about too much on the ministry. Uh, I've been quite busy in the background um, preparing uh, to for events to come, let's just say. Uh, but anyway, uh, one of the pages that I had not covered in my illustration book, because um, I've been going through it, double checking, triple checking, uh, listening to the scripture, make sure that I haven't missed out anything. And there was one particular thing which I missed out, and that was about the false prophet, because um, I'd already made already made a slide about him being the last pope. I already made a slide about the RFID chip and the name of the beast of the king. Um, the first beast, which is the Antichrist, and the second beast of Revelation is the false prophet. Because um, if we go to scripture now, um, you'll find in Revelation 13, um, 13, 11 through to the 18, um, it's talking all about the false prophet, the the beast that rises up from the earth with two horns like a, a lamb, uh, le, like Leviathan. Um, anyway, it says that he will create an image as well, an image of the beast. Now, I've also cre uh, did a slide for that, so that's fine. The only thing that I hadn't covered is this part where he makes fire come down from heaven. Um, so Revelation 13, 13, and he, meaning the, uh, the false uh, prophet, he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. So that's very clear. It's not, you know, it's not symbolic or nothing. It says he does great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven, which is above, above where we can go, above the clouds from heaven so that you know that's very specific and it's very hard to uh, try and you know grasp a, a hold of that that they'd be able to make fire come down from heaven uh, and he <clears throat> verse 14 and deceives them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast meaning the first beast, the Antichrist. So, the miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. So it sounds as if like he will do it while the Antichrist is there with him, watching. You know what I mean? And this is obviously to deceive the world as well, to believe that this Antichrist is really from God. This false prophet is really like, you know, the, the preacher, the... Well, I won't say father, but you know the po the Pope of all popes. Like I say, he's the last Pope. So well, I mean, this is the, these are the end times. So you know, if it's the last Pope of Malachi's prophecy. But I just wanted to point this out because it might you might think, wow, how can you make fire come down from heaven? And I thought the only way is like you have meteorites coming down. Meteorites are just rocks, and they fall from space they come down and they burn up in the atmosphere and they create that fire so one way one way they could do it is that they could have satellites which release rocks you know at, at a certain time you know when the satellites over let's say Italy Rome they could reach the load of rocks and the Pope would just be speaking exactly at that time they know where all the satellites are um, and they've been launching a lot of secret miss miss missions recently, um, so it wouldn't be too hard for that that to um, play out. But there's another one, which you know is quite far fetched. But I seen um, a post about something that happened in Michigan, and this thing come down, and it wasn't like a meteorite because it was more like a beam, because the fire beat the the beam of the went through the clouds up you know into heaven where you couldn't really see down to earth and it made an explosion which 
Meteorites don't do that. They leave a bit of a trail. They glow, they bright, and they explode. But they don't do things like that. And they don't fly straight because of the, the spin of the Earth and that. They fly always that way. Um, <clears throat> so this didn't look like a meteorite. And it's straight as a die. And like I said, it goes from top to bottom, from Earth to heaven. And it just reminded me, at that very point, it just reminded me of um, a movie called Under Siege uh, Number 2. T Under Siege 2. In which they take control, well, this terrorist group take control of this secret satellite, which fires like a laser beam up from space, and it, you know, does destroy whatever's on the whatever it's aiming at. And I think in the movie they destroy a nuclear power plant in China, but it wasn't a it wasn't a nuclear sized blast. It was that they could, you know, hit. The nuclear site and you know obviously radiation um, would, would come out but obviously it's just a movie and it was quite a long time ago but it's just there's <laughs> there's so many things in movies that you, it's just untrue you know so this could well be what they what they have and what they are testing a satellite which can fire a beam down you know down from the heavens to the earth and it looks like fire. Um, I'll have to edit this video and I'll put some pictures in. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to put a picture in, obviously, of the um, image slide that I'm talking about as well. But, um, yeah. And anyone disbelieving, the Bible says it clearly that he will make fire come down from heaven on the on the earth in the sight of men. That's heaven to earth on the and sight of men and people will see it. And like I said, Revelation 13, 13, 14 is where it says about this. Um, and if people don't think it's the false prophet, then they might get confused with the first and the second beast. The first beast being the Antichrist, the one that comes from the sea, Leviathan. Um, and then you've got the second beast, which comes from the earth with two horns like a lamb, Baphomet. Now... <clears throat> If people get confused with that and they say, oh, the second beast is not the false prophet. Well, here you can see, um, 13, 13, it talks about uh, if he performs miracles. Uh, and deceives them that dwell on the earth by the means of the miracles which he had power to do. Okay? That's 13, 13, when it's describing the kingdom, the, their reign, and what they're doing. Now, if you go to Revelation 19, which is the the end, pretty much, where Jesus Christ comes down on his white horse at the battle at Armageddon, you know, the beast uh, and um, Revelation 19, 19, actually. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse, meaning Jesus Christ return from the heavens and against his army the people the saints that are coming with him back down to earth to rule the earth for a thousand years resurrected and then it says verse 20 this is revelation 19 and the beast was taken that means the first beast which is the antichrist and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him so you can see it says false prophet there and then it describes exactly what he did was miracles which is the same as Revelation 13, 13 where it talks about him doing these miracles and making fire come down. So Re Revelation 19, 20 confirms that, that obviously the first beast, uh, the Antichrist, is taken and him and with him the false prophet which brought miracles and which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast the RFID chip which will be the new banking and it'll be all digital banking and then that worship his image obviously there's going to be an image set up uh, which can speak of the Antichrist and people are going to have to worship it or they die but you shouldn't do that these both were cast into a lake of burning a uh, lake of fire burning with brimstone so there at the Battle of Armageddon, they're gone. And the remnant was, this is the his armies that are following him. And the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, 
which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. He kills all the armies that are there to do battle with him at Armageddon. This is Jesus Christ with the sword of his mouth. And he kills, basically kills a spirit. So if you kill someone's spirit, then all that's left is a corpse. And that's where the birds come. The fowls were filled with their flesh. The birds obviously come and fit, eat all the, the dead bodies. So, yeah, I just wanted to share about um, how incredible the deception is going to be in the end times. Because, like I say, you're going to make fire come down from heaven. Uh, the false prophet's going to make fire come down from heaven. But it, have we already just seen this in Michigan? Um, like It was like a beam coming down. You know, people have said they've seen things like this before. Well, uh, you know, they must have to test these things out before the, the time comes. And the time is closing in very quickly. So it could, you know, Michigan could well be a test of this beam, this fire beam coming down from heaven which could be the exactly same thing that they have in Under Siege 2, the movie. I know it's, people are going to say, oh, it's just a movie. Well, if you, if you say so. Well, I'm just providing this information anyway. I know what I know and I believe what I believe. So, I mean, it's up to you. You know, so, uh, as well, salvation is free. If you want to ask God for forgiveness, he is, he is worthy and he will forgive you if you ask with your heart. Don't, you know. And he will forgive you, and your sins will be washed away, and you'll be saved, and you'll be saved, and you'll be saved from going into the lake of fire. Why do people want to risk it? And w today should be the day of salvation, because t tomorrow might never come. You might get hit by a bus, you know, God forbid, like you might get hit by a bus in the morning or whatever. You know, you don't know what I'm saying is you don't know when you're gonna pass, you know, pass. So don't just say, well, I'll risk it, and then maybe if I'm on my deathbed, then I'll repent then and ask God for forgiveness. Well, you might not get the chance. And when God's throne is passing over, do not six seal, Nibiru, you, there's going to be destruction on a massive scale. Extinction level event, Elenin, extinction level event, Nibiru is near. So... The population is going to go from 7 billion down to 0 0.5 billion for the reign of the Antichrist because it's a counterfeit of times. You know, it's a he's a clone as well, and it's a clone of times. The population of the world was 0 0.5 billion in Jesus' time. So the government want to reduce the 7 billion down to 0 0.5 billion, which means they want to lose, or they plan to lose, 6.5 billion. And that's probably, they're, they're going to plan on it being through a nuclear holocaust, nuclear war, World War Three, which that will happen, but there's going to be destruction like God's going to swing in before this nuclear holocaust comes, because that's trumpet, uh, trumpet um, number uh, six, I think, yeah, yeah, six, yeah. And... Um, He's going to swing in before that even happens, but the destruction of him, his presence, obviously there's a one rapture there where the, the great multitude go, the 144,000 stay, but obviously the 144,000 are going to be saved where, wherever, the, wherever they are. You know, the earthquake, the volcanoes, the tsunamis, it's not going to affect them because I, I guess God is going to bring them all together and put send them spiritually to a safe place. You know what I mean? There's plenty of people out there now that are really, you know, expecting and preparing for this. Even myself, I'm, I've got my own um, safe place, you know, and I'm pre preparing um, an Exodus bag. Well, I've already, already done actually. So these things are coming to pass very quickly. So um, yeah, these great miracles that are coming, a deception for the end times. So, I've been Pastor Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. Please share this video with all your friends and thank you for watching. God bless you all. Amen.